That's all I can do is shake my head so unimprovedly. Pablo, what have you done? What have you done, Pablo? What did you do? Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel once again. I am Robert Storms as always. If you find me for the very first time, please be sure to click that like and subscribe button. So this uh, piece of news has been going around YouTube and Twitter for the past couple of days. I haven't had a chance to really talk about it up until now. But Pablo Hidalgo, who works for Lucasfilm, he's the guy that's kind of in charge of, you know, the story and, and keeping canon and doing like all the encyclopedia type stuff. Like, like like, I believe that's his official title. I'm not sure what he exactly does over Lucasfilm, but apparently he likes to go on Twitter and make fun of people, especially um, the one and only Star Wars Theory. As you guys do know, Star Wars Theory is the biggest Star Wars YouTube channel there is. Like, this guy is massive. And you know, like, like back in the past, Geeks and gamers and a lot of those guys over there went to war with Lucasfilm and Pablo Hidalgo about the way they treat fans. Well, shit finally came to a head when Pablo Hidalgo decided to single out Star Wars Theory when he started crying over the return of Luke Skywalker in the season two finale of Mandalorian. Uh, Pablo pretty much makes fun of him going... You know what, you know, emotions, there's a lot of different threads that Pablo went and deleted, and I'm not going to go and get that, but Pablo basically said emotions are not for sharing, and um, see right here, Pablo Dago said emotions are not for sharing, and he's pretty much making fun, and that was just like one of the tweets, he has a lot of different tweets, and then he even like put the, the thing up on there as his title head, and um, just there's a lot of stuff going on with Pablo Hidalgo and what he did with Star Wars Theory. Star Wars Theory pretty much called him out. Lucasfilm, from what I understand, went ahead and contacted Star Wars Theory. They talked on the phone. Pablo Hidalgo issued an apology. And Pablo Hidalgo, a lot of his stuff is locked, so you can't get on there. And the stuff that isn't locked, um, he, a lot of the stuff he already deleted. But this is not okay. This is not okay. And for the record, like, I'm not sitting there, like, jumping on, on Star Wars Theory's bandwagon. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Star Wars Theory. I unsubscribed to him about a year ago. Um, I, I just don't like his content all that much. I, I much rather watch someone else's content on Star Wars. I'd rather not watch Star Wars Theory. And it didn't make matters better when he started teaming up with Mark Fernandez, who I think is the biggest slime ball in the industry right now over on YouTube. But with that said, when you have a, an emotion reaction, an emotional reaction to something in Star Wars, you know, it, it's something to be celebrated. The Rise of Skywalker, as bad as that movie was, when I did my trailer reaction to that, that trailer to Rise of Skywalker, I teared up at the C-3PO part when he's like, you know, I'm looking at my friends one last time or whatever the hell he said. And then, you know, God, the movie turned out to be garbage and that scene was completely non-emotional in the theater. But you watch these things to get emotionally attached to these things and these characters and you want to show that emotion, whether it's excitement me, whether it's anger, whether it, you know it's, it's joyful tears, you know it's people who are fans of Luke Skywalker, of course they were gonna tear up. But for someone at Lucasfilm, especially Pablo Hidalgo, that a lot of people are saying Pablo Hidalgo is is an asshole, he's a dick. I I never really thought too much about Pablo Hidalgo. I was like, oh, this guy is really knowledgeable. The only thing I really know about him is when he shows up on the Star Wars show and he's being interviewed. And I'm like, oh, okay, like that's Pablo Hidalgo. All right, cool. I never really had a, a beef with him, but you can't come out and attack fans. You can't attack fans. You know, Geeks and Gamers have been fighting this battle ever since Last Jedi. And I, I am the type of fan that I will not go after a company or a corporation or co corporation company. It's the same fucking thing, stupid. I won't go after a company or an actor or a director if I don't like their product. I'm like, I don't like it. I'm just not going to watch it no more. I will do a few videos talking about how much I hate it, and then I move on. Perfect example, Wonder Woman 1984. Saw it, did my live review, bashed it. Next day, bashed it. Next day, 
bashed it. I did like three videos bashing Wonder Woman 1984. Never once do I feel compelled to message Warner Brothers, Patty Jenkins, Gail Gadot, Chris Pine, and say, you know what? Your movie sucks. I don't like it. You owe me. You owe me as a fan. Nope. Never felt compelled to do that. But with that said, you cannot, you cannot be attacking these, these YouTubers. You can't. You can't. You know, you are a professional. Be a professional. This sort of stuff, that is not good. You cannot do that. You cannot do that. And it's very unprofessional. And I'm very, very disappointed with Pablo Hidalgo and Lucasfilm for treating fans like this. You know, it's one thing to, to see fans as hostile, but you can't sit there and say that all fans are hostile just because they care. Especially if somebody, especially like if they're just watching something and they're having an emotional reaction to it. He didn't come out to you. You purposely went and, and, and criticized him. That's not okay. But I want to know what you guys think. Be sure to leave your comments in the comment box below. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And until next time, as always, I am Robert Storms, and that's my opinion. Later, guys.